Peace and blessings, fam. It's your girl T back again, laying down another video. Well, today I am going to share my birthday style with y'all. Yes, I am getting started with braiding my closure. Yes, this is a crochet box braid elastic band closure style that I created for myself for my birthday. So yes, again, I am getting started by first braiding my closure. This is a four by four lace closure. It's 14 inches long and it's straight hair. And I'm going to start by braiding the hair back so that I can use this closure for my baby hairs, or should I say my wavy hair, and to crochet my box braids on. So keep watching. You do not, I say you do not want to miss this style. Why? Because this style only costs me, what, $20. Yes, $20, y'all. So I will leave the description and the link for the hair below. The hair is only $3.95 per pack. And I, when I tell you these box braids is the bomb, they are the bomb. They very easy to work with. They do not shed. Oh my gosh, you guys just got to keep watching. Keep watching as I finish off this closure and I will move on to step two. So yes, here is the closure. My braids are completed. As you can see, I have my baby hair sectioned off or my wavy hair sectioned off. Yes, and here are the braids. You do not have to braid, the, braid them all the way to the end. And this is what the closure looks like front and back. So just watch. Look at this. Boy, I tell you, I'll be creating some stuff, y'all. And I'll be sharing with y'all. So, look. Look how that looks. Yeah, so I am going to actually attach this to my hair with this elastic band. Why am I using this lace closure? Because what? I don't have no baby hair. I don't have no wavy hair. So, I needed to come up with something that I can have me some baby hair that I don't have to worry about perming and I don't have to worry about using gel on every day because once I put this gel on this closure it is there it is there and it is stuck and I don't have to worry about it this elastic band makes this closure fit nice and snug I don't have to worry about it moving shifting turning or anything I'm telling y'all this is the bomb this is a game changer what Look at that. It is sitting on there nice and comfortable. That elastic band is so unique. Yes, this is something you just got to try. So right here, I am braiding the ends of that closure. Remember the braids from the closure? I am braiding those braids in with my natural hair. And that's going to create the braid pattern that I'm going to use for my crochet box braid style. So yes, I am just braiding them all going backwards, just going straight down and I'm going to connect them all together. And again, like I said, this is going to be my braid pattern or my base or my foundation. Yes, I am using what or G and G hair growth butter. Yes, as always, it is packed with 100% all natural ingredients. Yes, if you haven't got your order in, you must do so now. If you want your hair to grow, you want some longer, thicker, healthier hair, order you some hair butter. Yes, look how that hair butter just melts right in my scalp. I love it. And it smells so good. So yes, here is the braid pattern. And these are the box beads. Yes. I am using color 1B118. And like I said, they are $3.95 a pack. And I will leave the link to be able to purchase these online below. So check out the link below if you want to order some of these box braids. Here I am going to get started with crocheting. And then I'm also going to use my sew-in method. Yes, I have a sew-in method for the box braids in the back. Why? Because I want to be able to 
pull these box braids up into a very flat, natural looking ponytail. And how do I do that? By using the sewing method. That way, all the box braids will lay nice and flat. Yes, y'all. I'll be coming up with some stuff, being creative, and I'll be sharing them with y'all. Again, you do not want to miss how this style is completed. So I am going to continue with my sewing method, and then I'm going to move on to crocheting the rest of these box braids on. And again, if you have thin hair in the front, if you don't have any baby hair, then you want to try this style. You want to try this style with this elastic band lace closure. That way your hair could be nice and full in the front. You don't have to worry about any gaps. Look at that. Nice flat ponytail. When I raise that up, that is beautiful. So yes, keep watching. And you will see these amazing, amazing results. Now, so I'm going to show you right here how easy it is to crochet these box braids on the closure. Yes, remember those braids right here? The closure braids. Look how easy it is. All I'm doing is flipping that crochet needle through the braids on the closure and crocheting those box braids right on. Yes, it's that easy. It is that simple. This method is amazing. And again, like I said, if your hair is thin in the front, if you don't have any baby hair, this is the perfect, perfect style for you. Look how easy it is just to slip that crochet needle in and crochet those box braids on. This is the other color that I'm going to use. I use two different colors with this style. The first one was 1B118, and this is just a straight 118. This hair comes in a variety of colors. Yes, it comes in black, it comes in brown, it comes in 27 and 30, which is a honey blonde. I have lots of different colors. Again, I will leave the link down below so that you can order this hair. Again, remember they're only $3.95 per pack. So right here, I'm going to show you how I crochet on that elastic band. This is the elastic band, and I am going to use this for my edges. And I'm just going to take that crochet 
needle, slip it through up under that elastic. And I'm just going to pull that box braid through and crochet this box braid. What? Right on that elastic band. And this is going to basically be my edges. So when I pull this ponytail up or pull it back, I'm not going to have to worry about the box braids pulling on my natural edges. It's only going to be pulling on this elastic band, y'all. That's all. And that is great. You don't have to worry about any tension, any pulling, or any of that on your edges. Why? Because these box braids is crocheted on this elastic band. Tell me that that ain't creative. Look at that. Get that. So I am going to make it nice and full on these on this elastic band so that when I pull it back, that's all you're going to see is box braids, y'all. So continue to watch, and I'm going to do this side as well as the other side and make this style full. This is so beautiful. I am loving this style already. Look how it is coming out. Okay, yes, fam. So you just got to keep watching. You got to keep watching so you can see how this is completed. Yes, this is going to be completely beautiful. It's going to be nice and full in the front. And this is something that you all can definitely try. It is a very easy method. So keep watching and I will be back to go over the next step. Okay, fam, so did you just see how many ways I parted that lace closure? That was about three or four different parts that I just made, and it can go on either side. This is so versatile and so flexible. Look, look how beautiful these crochet box braids are. Oh my gosh, I am loving them. Look how neat they are. I am loving this. Look how you can do this closure in the front. It's just so many styles that you can create with these box braids. They are flexible. And what? I am that about to do my little wavy hair. I have not mastered baby hair yet. But because I have what I consider a big forehead, I don't do baby hair. I do wavy hair. Yes, <laughs> wavy hair. <laughs> 
So that's what I am about to do now. I am going to work on my hair in the baby hair in the front using what got to be glue. And again, like I said, with this lace closure, once I put this got to be glue on there, I'm telling you, it holds for at least two to three days. I don't have to worry about it at all. So keep watching and you will see the end results. We are just about completed with this style. Once I get this wavy hair done, it will be complete. And let me know what you guys think. I think this is amazing it is magnificently beautiful so yes you got to keep watching keep watching until the end and i will show you my end results thanks so much i love each and every one of you please watch to the end and i am sending each and every one of you lots of love peace happiness and a safe blessed holiday